This is the scene above a real mess on the streets of Louisville tonight, right from Air 3 for the second time in one month. Water flooding the streets near the University of Louisville campus. And good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us here at 11. I'm Scott Reynolds. And I'm Dolan G. But this time, it is more than just a ruptured water line. Gas is leaking, too. Wave 3's Elizabeth Donatelli is live at Eastern Parkway and Crittenden Drive, where there is a lot of water and a lot of trouble right now. Liz? Yeah, Dawn, the water was gushing for about two hours, but good news, they have shut off the valves around 1020, so the water is no longer flowing. The other issue right now, as you can see, emergency responders still here, is the natural gas. Now, we are not allowed to go in this area back over here. That's because it's shut off for us, where it's not safe to go over there, where the natural gas is still bubbling out, and LG is say, LG and E is saying it could be a while. This is the second water main break by the University of Louisville in about a month, but this time there's a natural gas line that burst too, looking like Old Faithful bubbling into the sky. It was gushing. Where the water was coming out was about three foot high, so now we got a gas line shooting about 25 feet in the air. Water got inside a few homes and some had to be evacuated as water stretched down Eastern Parkway from Crittenden to Preston, oh, causing some customers to call us saying their water pressure was definitely down. It's shooting out water. A spokesperson for the Louisville Water Company says breaks aren't uncommon, but large ones back to back are, and the two by the university could be related. We have obviously another major break on a major transmission main. Um, we believe it may be a 48 inch main. It could be the same main that broke about a month ago, but I don't know that for sure. But she says it's too early to tell if construction to fix the last break had anything to do with this one. Now, right now, you are taking a live look at the scene. As you can see, there are plenty of emergency responders there. Actually, I drove in off Interstate 65. You can see them for quite a way, those flashing lights. Now, a lot of you at home want to know, what about your water? Is it safe to drink? Well, right now, the Louisville Water Company is not issuing a boil water advisory. That means there's nothing to be worried about right now. But a spokesperson did tell us that doesn't mean they won't be issuing one later tonight, as they did last time. About a month ago, there was one of these situations around the University of Louisville. Once again, taking a live look back here. Look at this area and once again, all these emergency responders. And we asked how much water is there? How high does it get? They're telling us it's about two to three feet of water. Now, what about the issues of the structure here and the water mains and the pipes? They're telling us they do not think it is a major structural issue, even though there was this issue that we had another main that burst just about a month ago but still they said that it's too early to tell. You're taking a live look right now at Air 3 where you can see once again those flashing lights. There are streets all around here. It's a section of this neighborhood just around the Eastern Parkway area that is covered with water that you're taking a live look at right now. Uh, we are still here on the scene and guys, we're going to try to get some more updates for you, but we can tell you that once again, the water has been shut off. The valves have been shut off in this area, but the natural gas is still flowing. Reporting live, Elizabeth Donatelli, Wave 3 News. All right, Liz, you go get some more information. We will check back with you during this newscast. We've got another live picture for you from Air 3 of the water spewing onto the street. Maybe millions of gallons again. Again, this is near Eastern and Crittenden. One month after that 48-inch main broke here in the city of Louisville. And again, not just a water main break. There is a problem of a gas line that has ruptured there. Wave Freeze Elizabeth Donatelli is there at Eastern Parkway and Crittenden Drive. And Liz, what more can you tell us tonight? Yeah, you know, I'm actually here with the person that knows a lot of information going here. Kelly Daring Smith, spokesperson here at the Louisville Water Company. First question, do we have any sense of how much water has spilled? We do not. Uh, we, we know that we were able to turn off the valves very quickly. So for viewers at home who might be comparing this to what we had from a month ago, it should be a considerably less amount of water because we isolated this main break very quickly. And Kelly, back behind us in the dip distance, you can see some water spewing in the air, but is that from the natural gas line? What is that over there? Uh, well, that's actually natural gas that you see spewing in the air. That is not water. Um, the water main break has been isolated. So that break is, is isolated. There's no water coming out of the ground anymore. 
what you see behind us is actually natural gas. And how dangerous is that? I know they've kept us here quite a distance away. Well, the, the emergency management folks who are here tell me that they have the situation under control. Um, so with the airflow, they're not worried right now about the gas, and it dissipates once it goes into the air right now. So lg is working to turn off a valve that will isolate that natural gas line. But there have been evacuations. There were a few homes around where the break occurred that were evacuated, yes. And do we have any sense of how much longer this is going to take? Not that I'm aware of. Our part of the operation right now in terms of isolating the break is we're done. Uh, but we need to get in there to inspect the pipe so we can start our repairs. And for that, we're waiting until the natural gas is turned off. And we talked to you earlier tonight, and you said there could be a link. We just don't know between what happened here tonight and what happened a month ago. Are we any closer no. now this evening? No, we and we haven't even had a chance to look at the pipe yet. So right now, we are, we're really in a waiting mode. Um, and it's just too early to say if there's any connection at all. And are we still no boil water? Currently, Louisville Water has not issued a boil water advisory. We're looking at the pressure and how low it dropped right after that break. Um, we, we do believe that if we have to issue a boil water advisory, that it will not be a large area like we had the last time. Okay, Kelly during smith thank you again for being up with us here tonight. And we will be back, guys. We'll give you updates here on Wave 3 News Sunrise. Back to you. All right, thanks so much, Liz Donatelli, live from that water main break. We've been on this all night, including breaking news here before our news started at 11. This water main break, nothing like the one we saw one month ago, that 48-inch main break, a smaller one near Eastern and Crittenden, and they have the water shut off, but Dawn, as you've been talking about, that yeah. is a gas pipe there that is spewing out some natural gas right now. No danger, but it's still out there. Yeah, well, there's, they are keeping people back away from this, but what you're seeing there is natural gas. Again, the water has been shut off. No boil water advisory as of yet. We will bring you the absolute latest again on Wave 3 Sunrise. You can certainly follow our Facebook and Wave3.com. We will bring you the latest information. At least three feet of water though well, tonight. Yeah, we're not sure if the gas caused the water main break or, or the, the water, water main caused the gas. Caused the gas. Sunrise yeah. might have that. Good night.